Hello and um, welcome to another episode of How Not to Write a Novel. Today has been a kind of productive day, but not in the way it might um, normally be. This morning I wasn't writing because I was doing something else. As you see, I have a new chair. So um, uh, I was helping mum um, assemble a chair. So that seemed to take up most of the morning, to, much to my surprise. It was quite hard to get some of the screws in the right place. But um, then this afternoon, I've done a bit more planning without much actual writing behind it. I've picked random names for some of the other characters who are going to be in Silent Scream. <coughs> <coughs> now, these are just provisional names. They are pretty much just random first name and surname. They might get changed later on. I've put these names into a file and used a application called Graphviz to draw them as a chart. So if I move over to one side, then there should be space in the corner of the um, video for me to display this. This is the characters that I've got so far. Um, I've got a rough idea in my head of what kind of people these are going to be. Um, these are basically the characters that have been named so far and some characters that I think we'll probably need. For example, there's a box for Carl, who was mentioned before, even though I don't really know who he is. Um, there's a label for um, a Mr. McAvoy, who is a, a sponsor of a gifted group. That's a group of people who are hunting shadow drinkers. Um, he's got money. He doesn't know how to fight himself, but he knows that the unnaturals exist and he's willing to fund an organization to try and deal with them, which I think, I think is a way for a rich old guy to contribute. Then I've got two colored boxes, a pink one and an olive one. Oh, sorry, that's Salmon and Olive, um, representing two different cities that characters might live in. At the moment, the Olive box is quite small. There might be more characters going into that later. But um, we have um, Walker, who we've already met, is not a nice guy. He has a connection to Jones, who we've already had mentioned. And apparently has a connection to McAvoy as well. Jones has been in touch with this guy, Dutch Brannigan, who is a former soldier who was mentioned in the original couple of paragraph summary of this story. Um, he is a former soldier who's gifted after running into some kind of unnatural threat on the far side of the world. He's retired now, but he discovers there's other gifted people living here and he wants to join up and help them. So he's applying to join this gifted group that currently I've got four names in. Daryl, Mark, Alex and Julian. Um, as um, I've got the basic rules for them, but I'm not quite sure about them yet. Um, there needs to be a couple of different abilities on a team. <clears throat> and I, th I think there's going to be possibly another former soldier, Julian. And I'm already thinking that he's likely to be the kind of guy who looks down on the civilians. He sees himself as the fighter and he doesn't want to leave Alex to fight unnaturals because she's not a soldier and he doesn't, he doesn't respect her abilities because she's not had official training. Um, Alex, I'm thinking, is a historian, possibly a history student. Um, 
I, I thinking she's probably a postgraduate history student and the whole thing with um, working out and martial arts is that's her hobby. Um, I'm not sure where her gift comes from yet. Um, Mark Peel I've got tagged as possibly a former priest or a priest who has access to some rather old documents about unnaturals. Um, and then this last guy, Daryl. Oh. Okay, now I'm confused. I've, I've got people all mixed up here. Um, okay, I, I basically I have a rough idea in my head. This group needs at least one proper fighter, a former priest who knows some stuff about the unnaturals, but some of it isn't right. A historian who will be more on the information side and a rich guy who provides them with the resources. Um, then they've got this former soldier who's been a mercenary for a bit and is trying to join the group. Um, he's an important part of the story. Then we've got Jones, who has come to them, or at least he knows about them. Possibly he's investigating them because he's found out that unnaturals exist. Um, but this is the main hero team. They're not necessarily heroes as such, but they're fighting the unnaturals. So they're the official good guys, as far as we get any. Yuki isn't a member of this group, but she's probably a prag pragmatic hero. She doesn't want to see anybody get hurt in front of her. I wonder how this group will react when they find out that she's not entirely human. I guess that's why she's not teamed up with them. But that's the rough list of characters I've got so far. Um, and now I think I need to do some actual writing before midnight. So I'll um, see you tomorrow. And um, if you're looking for something else to watch, then there should be a link to a previous video and a next video. And if you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications, then you should get a ping every time I add a new video. Um, and, and, well, see you tomorrow.